Hi, I'm Teresa with Celebration Elevation, and today I'm going to show you a few Halloween decorations with wine bottles. And I really like the way the last few videos have gone with me just basically narrating them as I show you what I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to do today as well. Um, so I'm going to start out first with spray painting the wine bottles, and then I will show you how I'm decorating them, and I'll talk to you about it along the way. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks. My backyard with um, a big black bag <laughs> and a couple of wine bottles. And so I'm gonna spray paint these black. These are gonna be used for a couple of Halloween decorations um, for candle holders. So I'm just using um, Rust-Oleum enamel spray paint and I put rubber gloves on because I've learned the hard way that your hands can get pretty, pretty painted if you don't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hopefully there's not too much wind, <laughs> but I'm going to spray paint these black and there's no labels on them. And we're going to put labels on them after. So I just want to show you this part. So you want to hold it about 10 inches away, which I wasn't probably doing, <laughs> to be honest with you. But hold it about 10 inches away. You're going to spray paint them black, and then I will show you what to do with them after. Okay, so here are some of the materials that you're going to need. Um, there's a couple of there's a couple of candles, the drip candles that um, I got on Amazon, and they drip black and red and orange. Uh, there is a spider web and some spiders that I will put the link for on Amazon. And these are some labels that I printed out for the wine bottles. Those are some flowers I got at the dollar store, and I spray painted them black. And there's one of the drip candles that what it looked like after it dripped for a while down the side of the bottle and some more wine bottles. So what I'm starting with is to show you, this is what those drip candles look like after I let it burn down for a while. It looks really cool. Um, it just kind of drips down the side. Here I'm showing you that there's another bottle that I will um, actually take a candle and show you that they are too wide for the, the wine bottles. So what you need to do is get a vegetable peeler and take it and just peel it as you would like a carrot. Just get it to the right width so that it will fit in your wine bottle. And then you can just use that as a candle holder. And then um, light your candle and let it drip down. It drips down in the pretty colors, the Halloween colors. It's supposed to look creepy. And so that's pretty cool. So. You can see I'm just kind of going back and forth on this, getting the wax down, and I will try it in there. It's still too big, so I just need to scrape it down a little further. That's what I'm doing here. And so now it fits. So then I trimmed down the wick a little bit because the wick is too long so I'm just getting the scissors now to trim down the wick and then you want to have it at about um, I think like a half inch quarter to half inch it's a little longer than that so just trim it by about half usually of what it comes so I think a quarter inch is about right and then I just put it in the bottle and light it let it do its thing, dripping down the different colors. Um, here I have one of the spray painted bottles. These stickers, what I did is I got the sticker paper, like Avery sticker paper or any brand, and then I went on to canva.com, it's C-A-N-V-A.com, and it's a free website, and you can draft your your wine bottle stickers, you could make um, labels on here, you could make all kinds of things, cards, lots of different things on this website. So that's what I made these wine labels with. And then these are just uh, some 
little baby's breath, fake baby's breath that I bought at the dollar store and I spray painted them black. So I am just going to um, use some of the spider web and spiders that I bought at Amazon. Just kind of wrap it around the bottle to make it look like it's been sitting on a shelf for a long time. And this stuff, I will put the um, link for this spider web and spiders. This isn't like any I've ever used before. This is a really, really small piece of a whole bunch that comes um, in the one package. And it is amazing. It's like, it, you can really thin it out. It sticks to everything perfectly. I can't wait to put it on like my porch and my bushes outside but I just used a little bit for this project too. And I just used a little bit of um, the glue gun to make it stick in place, but it really sticks to everything. It sticks to my fingers, sticks to everything. And here I'm just taking some hot glue and I'm putting on one of the spiders to stick on there. And I think I took two of the spiders out and I'm gonna do the other one on here too. And just put it right on the bottle itself. So hopefully you've been following along with my Halloween ideas and decorations. And if you're having a Halloween party, I'd love to hear what some of your ideas are. You can put those in the comments below. If you like the content of this video, then please give it a thumbs up and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. Okay, so here is what it looks like. And I just made this the label say Bewitched. Um, the other bottle next to that that has a candle in it says phantom and It's got like a skull on there, and that's what I'm using for one of the um, One of the candles and it's burning down on there right now There I'm just putting the flowers in the vase and it looks really cute really scary and cool <laughs> And then I had this great idea that I would take the glitter paint that I used in my last project with the spill book and I thought well maybe I will take some of the glitter paint and I will paint it oh here first I'm showing you that this is what the candle looks like when it's actually dripping down the sides and then if you take your lighter and you actually just put it on the top of your candle, you can speed up the process of the burning and the dripping. If you want it to sort of be the prop already with everything dripped down and not even have the candle lit, then you can do this ahead of time and just kind of burn it down till you've got the different colors coming out of it and it goes pretty quickly. So that's what I'm just doing here just to show you what it looks like when it's burning down quicker. So here now I'm going to take the, va the wine bottle and this glitter paint and then I had the idea that I would take some of this glitter paint and I would paint it on the cobwebs or the spider webs and the flowers and, and the spider. And I thought I would just give it some shimmer and it would look really good. But turns out didn't work really well so <laughs> I would say see there I'm just kind of like maybe if I just dab it onto the edge of the flowers maybe it'll look good no that's really not where maybe if I paint the spider maybe that would be good no it looks too thick <laughs> so then I decide to kind of wipe it off well maybe if I wipe it off this is what happens when you don't plan out your videos ahead and you just sort of start making your craft right on your video so these are some mistakes I made. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> so now I'm just kind of moving the cobwebs around and trying to decide if I should continue this ridiculous quest for making it look good with the shimmer. But I've decided, no, that was kind of useless. So I put the paintbrush down and I decided to take a little bit more of the cob of the spiderwebs pull it off and then I'm going to just stretch it around the flowers themselves and that looked really good it made it look kind of like 
They've been sitting on a shelf for a long time. They're all dead. There's spider webs on everything. And so I'm really happy with this decoration as it came out. So that one is finished and I think it looks really good. Then I had another bottle that looks kind of like a potion bottle. And I'm moving it over. There it is. So I'm taking the cork out and I'm going to put a label on this one. And this one I'm going to put a label that I made um, that looks like a skull and crossbones. So it looks like it's just some poison tonic or something. So I put that label on there. And then what I'll probably do is put some colored water in there um, before I put it out for the party. Or I was thinking it might look good if I took, like, um, funneled some Coke coke in there like a, a can of coke and just let it go flat it would, then it would be just sort of a brown yucky liquid you can see that I don't have the cork in there yet there we go little strength and there it is so that's what it will look like but I will put some liquid in there and so that's basically it so we have the candle dripping on the wine bottles um, we have the flowers in the wine bottle with the cobwebs and then we have the tonic water so i hope you enjoyed this i hope you get some good ideas from this and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section